Education and Health Sciences structured doctorate differs from the old-fashioned PhD in it includes uh, classes and lectures to support the student in addition to the normal research that the student will do. In some senses it's similar to the older PhDs in that you work with your supervisory team to undertake a four-year research project. In the first year you would take specific classes that would be relevant to uh, the project and you take supporting classes in research methods that would help you as a researcher. I think that the selection of a supervisor for your PhD is essential because they're the person who's going to see you from start to finish. You need someone that you can get on well with and work well with as well as have the respect for them. That you need to be able to bounce ideas off of them and you have to trust in them that they're going to help you make the right decisions in your PhD path and especially when it comes towards the end in terms of viva preparation, publication of your research and also the selection of your career path after that. In terms of quality we have some excellent supervision experience across our faculty, some a great variety of the types of research that can be supervised and some you know the potential for doing high class research is, is excellent. There are several factors that make the University of Limerick very unique. Uh, for example, uh, there are many experts in, the, in several areas and many people working together at this campus. Also, the area is beautiful and the facilities that are available at the university are of top quality and that helps you really uh, a lot with doing high quality research. I think the type of supervision that we would do in Education and Health Sciences is very much informal. I know in other uh, more traditional universities they go for a very formal approach. We would be much more relaxed and students and supervisors would, would normally have a relaxed relationship. The supervisor's door would very much be open and the student wouldn't be waiting for a monthly meeting. They would be able to access the supervisor and get good quality support as and when they needed it. One of the really big things with the supervision was the ease of access to my supervisors, either because I could go meet with them um, or by email. And the other thing that I really appreciated, because I work quite a lot from home, is the access I had because I, can re I could remote work from home and still have contact with, with my supervisors. Um, the scheduling was very easy and there was, a, there was a discipline in terms of I could set the agenda in for setting supervisory meetings but the supervisors were fantastic. They also just split things up very nicely so that one took on the role of very much around my writing and the other person um, was very much involved with the sort of statistical analysis and the methodology and the design so I really did have a, a very sort of all-rounded um, supervision. I think one of the great advantages of working with groups of other PhD students is the opportunity for peer learning. And I think especially as a new arrival at UL, it's great to have more established PhD students who can explain how things work, can introduce you to new concepts, new ideas at UL, and can help you settle in. And as you develop here at UL as a PhD student, it's a great thing to have lots of people you can bounce ideas off and uh, can give you feedback and can positively support the development of your research idea. The, the being a, a research community is really important because it's, research can be quite a lonely place to be. Um, then there are two things, there's the, there's the sort of community of, of postgraduate students, but there's also the campus where you know, if you're having a tough day you can walk across the bridge or you can go and have a coffee and, the, and there will be other people around that are in exactly the same boat. Um, and similarly, if you're having a good day or being particularly geeky and getting all enthusiastic about your results, there are other people around who completely get it. In addition to the support that is given by the departments and the faculty to uh, PhD students, there is also great support from the wider body of the university. For example, there are several um, workshops that are uh, frequently available that help in writing. Also, if there are difficulties with analyses or research methods, there is support for that. And there is a, basically a large spectrum of support and, uh, supporting facilities that help you really get the most out of your PhD. 
I think one of the great things about the UL campus is that it's, it's very relaxed. It's a great place to work and study. There's plenty of facilities on campus and people can live on campus or off campus. There's lots of cheap accommodation near the university, some very good accommodation in fact. And I think that builds a nice sense of community. Unlike other universities, students don't tend to commute long distances in the morning. They tend to live close to campus or on campus and can be right there. And on campus, I think we have over 13 different restaurants. We have numerous facilities for students and there is a very high quality of life here. Presenting our research abroad has not only given me the confidence in my work, but it's also given me the confidence to network with other academics in the field, which are essential for your future job opportunities. It also gives you good feedback in a more relaxed setting, especially when you're doing something like a poster presentation, to see where you're going and what do other people think of your work as well. I think studying a PhD or doing a PhD at the University of Limerick really adds great value to your education. The University of Limerick is very special uh, because, for example, the focus of research that also really contributes to the wider community. And I think that this is a valuable addition to any student who wants to pursue an academic career. The structured doctorate in the Faculty of Education and Health Sciences offers uh, excellence in supervision. It offers an opportunity to, under to undertake world-class research. And when you graduate with your PhD from the University of Limerick, you would have the ability to take your career anywhere you want to go in the world with it.